Hello everyone, welcome on back to the dojo! Happy Monday everybody! Welcome on back, hope y'all had a great weekend. We're back with some more Super Mario Odyssey today. We're doing our speedrunning stuff. But we're learning a new kingdom, kind of. We're only gonna learn Dramstrat today, which is one of the new, one of the new, uh, uh, very hard tricks that we need to do. It's actually over by the Odyssey. I just came in here so we could have some music to listen to while the stream was starting up. I know there's a way to grab that chest without actually getting up there, so I was just kind of trying to mess around and do it there. Hello, hello, revered, welcome on in. How am I feeling? I'm feeling much better. I had a stomach ache today, uh, probably from dinner last night, but uh, I was feeling kind of poo-poo all day, and then I got home and took a nap, and I feel a lot better now. I know there's a way to get that. Maybe is it a spin throw? Do I have to do a spin throw? Okay, well, I wasn't even facing the right way, but that would be cool if the spin throw worked. Yeah, I don't know quite what the real strat is. Oh, that was really close, too. That almost hit. I know there's a way to hit that box before you actually get in there. I just don't know what it is. I'm glad you're feeling good to just snow jam today. Yeah, depending on how, how long snow jam takes, we're just gonna do that. If I manage to get it quickly, we'll try and get it as consistent as possible, and then we might just do a little fall, guys, to end the stream, because I don't want to do anything too strenuous today. Uh, you know, we did a lot of reviewing last stream with Cap to Metro, and I think we did really well with it. Oh, that could've, that could've honed in. Well, not when I go straight down with it. I'm so bad at aiming Cappy. Nope. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. The video at the end of the notes will make it so much easier with input. So actually, before I fell asleep, while I was taking my little rest when the stream should have started, I was watching different tutorials for uh, Dram Strat, for Snow Dram, and I actually I watched Small Ants pretty in depth. We might turn on some Spotify just because it's a little, little uh, quiet out here with the wind going. So I do know to line my foot up here along the little the metal, like so, and then we point the right analog stick just around that. Actually, my marker not might not be right with the text because I'm on Simplified Chinese and I don't think that's what Small Light was on. We can actually, we can check the one. Tom, she's the one I was referring to. Yeah, I know you put a different video in there. Let me pull both of them up, just so we have them for reference. Uh, do, 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 we'll go to... The document where all my notes are. Thank you, Revered, for typing up all these notes. Appreciate it. Okay, where's that video at? There it is. Uh, Grammarly. For the no, no ads. The Odyssey is pretty free of trick jumps. Okay, there we'll is one in particular in Snow Kingdom that has and quite the reputation. That. And we are talking about Odyssey, Ooh, so of course it has Dram in the name. Today well, I'm going to be have taking to, like, a look at Snow Dram. Snow Dram is a tight jump time. done at the end of Snow Kingdom's 80% and World Peace routes that is known yeah. for being difficult and to learn is and has taken the lives of many on pace runs. In any percent, initial timings pointed towards the lo fi hip hop radio is something recommended to me on YouTube. So let's do it all. Time. Piece, only all right, here we as go. Little as two. So let's skip ahead because we kind of know how it's done. We know the route. Is. So I know when you get up there, uh, the lining it up is different though. He's using a different language than I am. What language does yeah. Small Ant use? Dang it, they all use different languages. So I don't know where to line up my marker is the thing. Now go on first. Per <sighs> um, yeah, I don't know if my marker is going to be lined up properly. I can try it Small Ant's way, which is just like this with uh you guys can't see behind the video which is with uh the picture of the right analog stick just to the right of that little loop on the odyssey so, like right there we can try that but i'm not too sure gonna have to work on c sign soon that will be so freaking easy yeah it's just an easy water level i'm actually kind of excited for wow that was way too low uh, I'm excited for not seaside clip not the not the cheap cheap clip i'm excited to try the uh, movement in the very beginning, you do some like, not super hard, but you do a triple jump backwards towards the wall. Uh, I wanna, I wanna do that movement. You know, just tight, easy movement is what I like, or not necessarily easy, but tight, just simply platforming movement is what I like. Not any like super, super hard tricks. Okay, so I line my foot up here. We get this lined up with this. If you listen to Tom Shi's explanation, he mentions he doesn't have the angle for Chinese Simplified. Yes, that he did say that. So it's somewhere like, as long as 
like the middle of the screen is right around that loop. Okay, uh, I didn't get a return jump. That was weird. I mean, that's part of it. Here, we can watch the rest of the video just so you guys get a sense for what I'm supposed to be doing. This is small. Basically, as good as any other way, this is just put. But it doesn't directly matter. reset that position. Chinese character the at the yeah, end. Yeah, so he puts one of the on Chinese the characters on there, or whatever language he's using. It doesn't need to on it, just anywhere I put the, the right analog axis. stick, like small, and said, I don't know which one's going to be uh, necessarily correct, but we'll mess around with it. Right as it's getting discussed on whether Chinese might be faster. I really need to get the, uh, the movement after this. this exit is first what's going to be important. So I know I hold... Out and hold I know I hold left when I'm rolling into Cappy. But I'm not coming Cappy. out of that. Fast While still enough. holding out Cappy, jump and ground pound into a roll. As soon as you start rolling, hold directly left on the analog stick. And I think it's like when the camera it, starts to recenter, the vector you push to make forward this jump of work. Left. You want to continue holding left until you see the camera center behind yeah, you by itself centers. and Mario falls out okay, Cappy. So the Delay center, just the screen. Once you're in the right position, the shift to holding forward. Throw and jump. All right, let's try that. See if we can get that. <laughs> Oh, I didn't think I was going to make it up there. Right around there. Oh, that was close. That was close. Oh, wrong button. That was actually kind of close. We're going to get this, guys. We're totally going to get Dram Strat. Or Snow Dram. I'm going to always just call it Strat. Just call it Dram Strat as if it's Sand Kingdom. Whoa, I didn't expect to bounce up Cappy there. That was tight. It's not too bad. Yeah, you're right. It isn't too bad. We gotta get it consistent as the thing, though. That wasn't it either. <gasps> oh my god! We already got it! Second shot! What the frick? That was so easy! Oh my god. I thought Snowdram was gonna be so much harder. Are you kidding me? What the heck? Literally so easy. Okay, let's get it again. Ready? Two times in a row. Oh, okay, well, I missed Cappy there. That was kind of an odd odd angle that Cappy went at. Dang. You really weren't lying, Revered, when you said you got it first try. Okay, yeah, I'm 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 over the uh the rustling wind in the background. We're gonna get some Spotify going. Okay, you should be able to hear that. Maybe. No, no, you can't. Hang on. Uh, sound settings. Come on, computer. Work with me here. I love it when my computer freezes. Real great, real great. <laughs> Alright, well, while that tries to load, let's give it another attempt. That's not what I meant to do. Can you, what the heck? My dive inputs are getting eaten. Oh my god. Literally every time my dive inputs get eaten. Eat 10. There we go. Gotta really make sure I press that Y button very firmly or else it just will not work. Alright, there's... The computer is back to functioning properly. I want... Yes, this is Spotify. We'll send you here. There. Now you guys should be able to hear some music. You can actually lower... The Elgato sound. Cool. Now you got some music. First snow drill. Oh, thank you for the clip. Definitely gonna post that. Let's see if we can get it again. Let's try, let's try. Oh, I don't, oh my god! That didn't look like it was gonna make it. Okay, well there's a second second snow dram, guys. I wanna say clip, but it's not a clip. You got a clip, Revered. I did not clip through anything. There's no walls I clipped through here. <laughs> Just some fancy movement. Ah, I hate that the Odyssey doesn't let you, like, wall jump off it consistently. Like, here when I'm pushing into it, when I was slightly off-center, it let me wall jump. But if you're dead center on it, it won't let you wall jump. Let's do it again, do it again. Oh, God. Okay, that was off. Too far left on the, the cappy throw. We got this, Revered. We got this. I really wasn't planning to learn more of Snow Kingdom today, because I assumed this was going to take longer. Whoa, 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 slow down there, slow down there, buddy. Ah, I keep doing the wrong thing, I gotta do a happy return jump. Told you it wasn't that hard. Listen, you said that, 
I will give you credit for that. You did say this trick wasn't that hard, and I did not believe you. I'm just not making it, yeah. Still a little too late. There we go. Gotta get the timing for that so we can get that fast dive up here. May have been a little early. Yeah. A little early coming out of the, the happy bounce, I think. I don't know. It's a tough one to diagnose because there's so many things that happen in such a quick span of time. That's not right. That's right. That's how we do it. Uh, I'm not in the right position. I'll try that again. Oh, damn. A little too low. I feel like I had the distance there, but I didn't have the, uh, the height. So how was your week on Revere? Did you do anything fun? Did you guys have a good Friday? I know there was no Fall Guys stream, unfortunately, but there will be this Friday. No backing out of Fall Guys this Friday. We are on our way now to the Golden Wolf Tale. Only, you know, uh, a couple hundred wins. No, I'm less than a hundred wins away from the Wolf Tale. That's too low. No, I didn't make it. Can't really abandon the attempt mid-try. Hello, can I teleport? There we go. Weekend was good. You got to see Free Guy yesterday. Oh, no spoilers. I don't want any spoilers. I'm going to see it Thursday. I've yet to buy tickets, but I am going to see it. I am very excited. Looks like a fantastic movie, but how could it not be? It's Ryan Reynolds and Taika Waititi's in it. Like, what? On top of that, my friends were apparently there. To oh, your friends were at the same showing, so you got to see them afterwards. That's funny. You don't even know you guys were going to be at the same showing. That that's actually really funny. That's way too low. What happened there? Why do I have, like, no height at all? Alright. That was odd. I guess I really messed up the, the happy dive there. Nope, that ain't making it. That ain't making it. Yeah, I'm going to see Free Guy on Thursday, hopefully. Very, very excited to see that. Did you see Marvel's What If Episode 1 revered? What if uh, Captain Carter became Captain America? Or the first Avenger is technically the name of the episode. But what if Agent Carter became Captain America? Or Captain Britain, in her case. Not yet. You have not seen it. Oh, dude. You gotta, you gotta catch up. You need to see it. You should definitely see it. I do kind of want to talk about it on stream on Friday, and I, I'm gonna most likely talk about episode 2 on Friday as well, so definitely catch up on that. There are pretty short episodes, like it's only 34 minutes, including credits, so it's not too bad. You've been busy? Okay, that's true. You did start school. You have, you have gotten a lot busier. Oh, dang. I don't know if the cat bounce was off if I did the return rainbow spin jump too early. I definitely didn't do the dive at the end too early. Like, that that was timed as it should have been. That, nope. I didn't pull all the way left. Try again. Oh my god, my dive in inputs, dude. My dive inputs are always eaten. I gotta take care of stuff as I'm here, so I'm gonna be here and there. You doing some homework or like house chores? What you doing? I get that you got shit to do. That's wow. I was way too low there. I came out of the the roll vault too late. Gotta get that copy bounce earlier. Ah, oh, dang it. That dive is like so precise for getting on top of the Odyssey. What the frick? What was that? Don't go in the Odyssey. Of course. Of course I went in the Odyssey. Try that again. Yup, too close. Too close. There it is. He always has so much speed coming out of that dive. 
I've got homework. Virtual school wants me to do a brief quiz, but then after I gotta finish my science notes for a notebook check tomorrow. Oh my god, notebook checks were so stupid. I hated notebook checks. Um, so, I got a fun story for you guys. Back in ninth grade, when I was a little prepubescent Mason, uh, I had Spanish class with this awful, awful teacher. I probably started the class with a normal amount of kids, like 26, 28, somewhere around there. Uh, by the end of the year, there were less than half the kids remaining, including myself, because everyone switched out of the class because they hated this dude. He was such a bad teacher. Um, part of what drove me over the edge was uh, he was doing notebook checks for some reason. I don't remember what it was for. It was for some project, but it was completely unrelated. It was an utter waste of time, and we weren't learning anything. But th there was way more than that that I had issues with this dude, and I'm pretty sure he got fired anyway. But yeah, it was it was rough. What the frick? I didn't get the rainbow jump. So yeah, notebook checks. I don't I don't like them. Listen, if you want to take notes, you take them your way. However, you know is gonna help you. Let's try this. Let's try this. Okay, so I'm not supposed to spam the rainbow jump button, the return, happy return jump. I know I'm supposed to delay that very slightly, but I'm not getting enough height anymore. That's not good. Oh, I thought I had it. Thought I had it, dude. I love getting that first frame pause so you can uh, warp back to wherever you're going before bonking or getting stunned on the floor. Nope. Nope. Didn't get the roll vault. Again. Again with the eat and dive inputs. Just doesn't work. Nope, that was way too early on the return jump. Way too early. Slight delay on the last dive and that would have worked. Really a delay on the last dive? But if I delay the dive anymore, I'm gonna fall. So I feel like the delay is not where it should be. I mean, I can try it. It's, I feel like it's different every time I try it. You know, I just gotta be in the right position at the right time. God damn, come on Mario. There it is. Gotta pull slightly away from the Odyssey before doing that dive. Nope, nope. Bro, oh, come on. Gotta roll with me, Mario. Nope, was not pointing left enough. Here we go. It's weird timing. Tomshi tries to make it as clear as possible. Yeah, it's definitely some weird timing. Ah, Mario moved off center. Oh, I thought I had it. I thought I had it. Come on. We can get it. How many times have we gotten it now? Twice? Still haven't gotten it twice in a row. That's, that's not a thing that's happened. Damn, I thought I pulled enough away from the Odyssey. That's... Oh, come on. That had to be it. That was so close, dude. What? Yeah, two, two exact attempts that have made it successfully. Oh, what the frick? Mario just walked right off. Nope, not enough height. Can't delay that dive at the end. If I delay it, I don't have enough height. More delay? Oh my god, you're saying even more. I think maybe I need to delay coming out of the first... Whoa, that was weird. Coming out of the first, uh, Cappy Bounce, I possibly need to delay slightly more. Uh, just to wait so that he does the full spin around. We'll see, we'll see. The one before that. Okay, okay, you are talking about the one before. Cool. Ah, I pressed B too late. The one where you were too high. 
We'll get it, we'll get it. It's just a matter of continually messing around with the timing of everything, so I get it in my hands. See, like, that felt like a really well-timed return jump, the, the spin jump, the rainbow jump, whatever you want to call it. I felt like that was timed really well coming out of the first Cappy dive. But after that, not so much. Ah, Mario. Gotta roll, bud. I may have waited too long. Yeah, I think I waited too long to start the first Cappy jump after the roll vault. So I didn't tell you guys about my weekend, uh, since there was no stream on Friday, because I took a little mini vacation. I was up hanging out with Ferris Fist, because he is homebound right now. Oh, that's not making it. So we spent the entire weekend playing video games and watching Avatar The Last Airbender, because he has never seen the series before, and I've seen it like god knows how many times at this point. We made it just about to the end of book two. We've got, what, four more, three more episodes and a two-parter left. <laughs> yep, Revered, he has never seen Atla. Not once. Granted, he is five years older than me, so it was more so a cartoon from my age than his. But still, no excuse. I messed that up. Hello, where was my roll vault? There's another eaten dive input. I had to hit it a second time for that to work. He has never seen Avatar The Last Airbender? Nope, Ferris just has never seen it. I was the one to introduce him to it. Uh, we probably watched, like, we watched well over 10 episodes in, the, in a couple days, which is a lot for him since he's never seen it. So it's a lot to digest, but we watched a lot of episodes. There were some good ones in there, though. We got through... Okay, so the, the one I really wanted him to watch, because I wanted to see his reaction, was Tales of Ba Sing Se. And while I cried at the tale of Iroh, he did not. He said, uh, if anything, the tale of uh, Momo got him more. Which I can understand. You know, Momo's dreaming about Appa. He's missing him. Dang it, I'm not getting this roll ball. Oop, hang on. What else do we see? That was too early. That's not making enough distance. Uh, we saw Zuko alone. Beautifully written episode. Uh, we got to see the, the temple and Appa's Lost Days. Or the desert and Appa's Lost Days. So that, that was cool. That was kind of a, a change in the series from that, that point onward. Something like actually bad happened to the group since they lost Appa. Also, I'm hoping not, I'm not spoiling for anyone, but if you haven't seen Atla at this point, that's your own fault. That, yep, that was gonna bomb. Knew that was gonna bomb. That one too, alright. There it is. Dang it, why does he not roll? Ah, I didn't get the return jump. What's your favorite episode of Avatar, Revered? You got, you got a favorite? Or maybe a top few? Oh, alright. What? What is, what is this? What is, what is Cappy bonking on? Oh, it's hitting the globe. Not the globe, but the center. Okay. That's odd. Didn't know that was a thing. My, I'm not in the right position then. Ah, I gotta be slightly more to the left. Look at that. You learned something new. Didn't even know I was, I could be slightly off position like that. You don't really have a favorite you like a lot of them? Yeah, there's, there's a lot of really well-made episodes. The whole series is just extremely well-written. That's not making it. Dang it. Oh, I'm getting close again, but no luck. 
feel like I'm doing it pretty well. Maybe I could vector the, uh, the Cappy jumps a little more. Ah, I still didn't get the rainbow jump. Almost there. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Gotta get it more than two attempts. It has been 30 minutes, so we'll see, we'll see. Maybe we'll just spend the whole stream doing this until we get it kind of consistent. I know this might not be the most exciting thing to watch me practice, but we need to practice it. Oh, I had the height, but not the distance. Maybe watch the video again real fast, see the timing and angle. You know what? That sounds like a wonderful idea. Let's do it. Unhide Chrome, and let's use the video. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's pause the music. Take now, Cappy, look. jump and ground pound into a roll. As soon as you yeah, start rolling, left as much hold as directly possible. left on the analog stick. And Once continue Mario... to hold it oh, to let me see when he the starts vector holding required left. to make this jump work. Okay, so it's you after continue he's holding left already mid-air. So once he hits the ground pound button, he's already work. holding left. You want to continue and then the roll holding after. left okay, okay. until That's you something see something the camera center aware aware of. behind you by itself, and Mario falls below about halfway down the screen. Once you're in the right position, shift to holding forward and throw out Cappy. Delay for just a moment, then cap dive. Once you see Cappy return. Turn to Mario, initiate a rainbow spin by pressing the B button. Wait too yep. long and you won't get a rainbow spin, and hit it too early and you won't get enough distance. After the rainbow spin, delay for a brief second, then throw Cappy forward once again. This is going to sound like a broken rainbow. And he aims like really far left. Cause like, you're supposed to make it from further over to the right where the distance is a little shorter. But he made it on the left, so like, he had that jump perfect. Let's get it, let's get it. Right there. Oh, wait, 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 so... Nope, okay, hit the X button the wrong point. I'm trying to just get it in my hands that after I'm mid-air, I start, no, after I hit the ground pound button, I start holding left. Okay, after I hit the ground pound button, hold left. Nope, ah, wrong. Wrong set of commands. See, this is why I gotta get it in my hands first, because if my hands don't know what to do, I just kind of freak out. Okay. Okay, all right. Got to I got to get the start a couple times until it's comfortably in my hand. So Y B ground pound left X. Y B ground pound left X. Y B ground pound left X. Okay, well, I came out of that roll vault way too early. Y, B, ground pound, left, X. Y, B, ground pound, left, X. Y, B, ground pound, X, left. No, left, X. Ah, what? There we go. That's how you make that quick jump. Ah, oh, I came out of that too late. Mario was way lower on the screen than I should have hit it at. Okay, so come out of the roll vault slightly sooner. But we're getting better at the beginning. That's good, that's good. I decided to play Beat Saber this weekend for the first time in like, God knows how long since I played that. Definitely my favorite rhythm game out there, but uh, playing expert mode on songs that just came out is not as easy as it sounds. Oh. Close, very close. I think I have the first two steps down pretty well, and it seemed like I came out of the roll vault at a good uh, good point that last attempt. Let's try again. <laughs> Crab Rave Expert Plus. I don't know if I can do Expert Plus on that, but I definitely can do Expert on Crab Rave. I play Expert on, like, almost every song. I'll say there's... Maybe one or two songs from the original soundtrack volume three that I can't do on expert because they're just ridiculously hard and very, very long songs. So not only is it hard, but you need a lot of stamina too. Like it's just, it's very strenuous after a while. Your sister's really good at the game. If I ever get one, a bigger streaming room where I could do VR, two, the Oculus Quest two, and three, Beat Saber for PC, I would totally do Beat Saber streams for you guys. That'd be so much fun. I mean, Ideally, one day, if I do have the space for it, we could do, I could paint like a whole green screen wall 
and do streams from a third person perspective in VR. I think that would be really cool for Beat Saber because I've seen streams of it and I think they're awesome. And I definitely have some good Beat Saber skills I can show off for you guys. Whoops. Didn't quite get the roll there. I don't know if I'm getting the cap bounce. Not cap bounce. The return jump too late? Because that one looked good. You know, I thought that attempt was going to work. That wasn't going to work. That is. No, that's not a roll ball. Again, with the eat and dive inputs. I always have to spam Y to get a dive. That's right. Uh, Mario came out of that too late. I messed up. I messed up! Oh. How's the music volume for you guys? I think I have it fairly low. For me, it's way louder. <laughs> you guys are not hearing it at the volume I'm hearing it at. Whoa, alright. That was very far left. No stun jumping for us. I don't have all the music packs that come with Beat Saber, but uh, there's... Oh, nice. There's some, like, uh, real music packs, not songs made for Beat Saber. So you've got, like, an Imagine Dragons pack. You've got a Green Day pack. There's a pretty crappy um, Panic! at the Disco pack. And the only reason I say it's crappy is because there's only four songs, which is kind of cheap. There's plenty of Panic! songs you could have put on there. Um, but I really like the Rocket League pack. There's a Rocket League X Monster Cat. I think Monster Cat made the music for it. But I love that music pack. It is so much fun to play. I think Glide is one of my favorite songs on that. Ah, you didn't roll. You gotta roll, dude. Ah, I didn't get the return jump. Rocket League has a Beat Saber pack? Yes, they do. Yes, they do, sir. Check it out, check it out. Rocket League. X Monster Cat, Volume 1. Uh, let's just search Beat Saber. Yeah, here's some of the songs on it. Uh, this is not the full pack, I don't think. But I can show you guys this. Uh, I don't know how this is going to look when I do this, but let's find out. Okay, you can kind of see it. This is the, the Monster League pack. I don't know how well you can see it. It's kind of small. Sorry, I can't really make it much bigger. But, um, yeah, the my favorite is Glide. I really, really like this song. Listen, if we ever get the ability to stream Beat Saber, I will gladly do it. Actually, you know what? I might be able to stream Beat Saber... Uh, but the only catch is I would have to do it for my PS4, I wouldn't have face cam on, and I could probably do microphone, but it'd be questionable, and I definitely wouldn't be able to see chat. So I would either have to take the headset off in between songs, or I'd have to have someone reading chat to me. But I could stream it directly from my PlayStation, because I've done that before. Actually, um, back when I was first starting to get into streaming in, uh, like, May, June, early June of 2020... Before I had a PC, I would just stream straight from my PlayStation. I was doing Kingdom Hearts gameplay, Kingdom Hearts 3, and I was just doing straight battle. There was no microphone, no camera. I would, if anyone happened to show up, like Ferris Fisk was there, uh, I would talk to them through chat. But uh, if we did Beat Saber, I wouldn't be able to do it. There might be a way to get your chat to show up in game. So on PS4, there's a way to get your chat to show up on stream if you're streaming straight from the PlayStation. But I don't think I can put chat inside my VR headset. I know you can do it on other non-PlayStation VR headsets, if you're, like, more so if you're streaming from a PC, and you have a PC-compatible VR headset. Uh, I know there's more stuff you can do there, but I don't think I can do what you're thinking with a PlayStation 4. I don't think it's possible. Have you seen some popular Beat Saber channels have a Twitch chat pop up in their game, they can move it? Yes, I've seen exactly what you're talking about, but I'm pretty sure that's not available on PlayStation VR. I'll have to look up Expert Plus of that. I think I've only done two Expert Plus songs 
in my entirety of playing Beat Saber. I have 100%ed Beat Saber though. I do have all the trophies for it and I finished the easy campaign. Well, yeah, yeah, the campaign was pretty easy. The achievements were a little hard. The last achievement I got was I had to play 15 songs on expert mode and get a perfect combo so I couldn't miss a single note. And I did it. They were mostly the original soundtrack songs, but I did it. Very difficult. But a true testament to my skills. Oh my god, in Beat Saber. Yeah, that wasn't gonna work. There was no way that attempt was gonna work. It was so wide. Listen, Revered, if you want to do your own research and you find that I can put chat in game, I can put chat in my PlayStation VR headset, by all means, I will gladly do a, a, a VR stream. I think I came out of that vault too early, too late. Yeah, I came out of the vault too late. Dang it. Gotta be on the actual ground to teleport. I've done some minuscule research in the past on whether or not I can connect my PSVR to my PC, uh, but I don't think I can. Like, maybe you can in some really hacky ways, but not in any legit way. Oh, dang. I had the height, not the distance. In PSVR specifically? Yes, PSVR specifically. That is the only VR headset I have, and as far as I know, it is only compatible with the PlayStation. Plus, the other thing is, uh, if I get Beat Saber on PC, I can mod it, and then I can play literally any song I want. But on PSVR, you can't mod it, so you're stuck with whatever packs they put in the game. Granted, over the years, they have updated it, and they've added some more packs. Um, but the only packs that come free with updates are the original soundtracks, and those don't come out often and don't have many songs. All the other music packs they add, you gotta buy. Which kinda sucks. Ah, you didn't roll, Mario. You gotta roll, dude. Oh, come on. Revered, I know you're busy with other stuff, so don't kill yourself trying to see if I can connect my PSVR to my computer. Because even if I can, I don't have the space in this room. I mean, maybe I do to just do Beat Saber, but it is a very small room. Like, Beat Saber might be the only VR game I can do in here. Yeah, that's not making it. Dang it. I was hoping I can get like some first frame pause. <laughs> Not too big of a trouble. I know, I just want to make sure you're getting your homework done, dude. School comes first, folks. Even though you'll hear me say how much I hate school. If y'all are still in it, that comes first. That may have been too early. Yeah. Dang, those look so close, too. Oh, I thought I had it. I thought I had it, dude. So, when we're actually in a run, how many attempts do we give this before just saying it's a dead run? That's the question. No, I came out of that way too low. Dang, the point to come out of that roll vault is so precise. Hey, Fishy Booey, welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Getting closer each attempt, thank you. Trying to practice it as much as I can. Thank you for posting that clip review. We did get it twice earlier, haven't been able to get it since. No, too far. Too far. Well, come on in, Fishy. How's your Monday going? Did you have a good weekend? Go, go, go! Ah! 
I'm getting really close these last few attempts, but just barely missing it. Just barely. I am having fun doing this spin jump up onto the Odyssey, though. That movement is very quick and fun. Alright, no return jump, that's cool. Supposed to be a bit straighter with that cappy throw. Dang, that looked good too. I think if I had gotten that first cap dive straighter, that would have made it. I also have no idea how to do like mini vectors in between my cap dives and whatnot. So I'm sure that could help. Ah. Maybe I should be aiming for the right as well. Because the, the right tip of the that platform there, that ice ledge, is actually kind of closer. We can try that. I can try and aim slightly more right. See if that does anything. That, no. That's way too low. <laughs> that's not making it. There. Nope, that's incorrect movement. I like spinning Mario in circles as he's just falling down to the ground. It's great. Ooh, almost got Mario right into the perfect position there. Maybe that's the other thing. I'm not just holding left when I come out of that roll vault, I'm like gradually coming back to center and I don't think I'm supposed to gradually do it. Whoa, just barely made that. Uh, that's not right. Hmm, I don't know, that definitely felt different, but I don't know if that was closer or further. So hard to diagnose these, these tough strats, guys. Nah, no, that was a bad attempt. Bad attempt. Alright, give it another shot. Might be a little too far, but that's fine. That was no, that's not it. <laughs> I did not hold the roll vault towards the left. Oh. Hey, we can warp when we're sliding on our butt. That's good to know. We can warp slightly sooner every time we fail. Ah, nope. Gotta do the roll vault, mister. Nah, I'm not making it. Not enough height. So precise, dude. So precise, this trick. If anyone knows how I'm doing this wrong or slight improvements I can do to make the trick work, feel free to call it out. I am still very new to this strat and Mario Odyssey speedrunning in general, so I can always use some tips. Yeah, I gotta delay that first cap dive more. I mean, the good thing about this trick is I can teleport and just keep practicing it over and over again really, really quickly and easily. Ah, all right. Not ah, nearly enough height. What is that? I don't know why I'm losing height now. It's not like I'm not holding the B button for a jump long enough. I'm not even jumping. It's a roll vault. Weird. Now I'm completely messing this up. Let's watch the video again, see if we can learn anything new. 
Actually, you know what? Let's watch Small Ant's video this time. Inside this loop on the Odyssey. Once that's all set up, you can do the jump. Leave first person mode on the control stick. When Mario hits the ground, initiate a roll and continue holding left. Hold left. Yep, got that. Mario should vault from the left side of Cappy. Keep yeah, holding so left I need until to Mario is here. Left. Then point straight towards the corner that Mario needs to land on. Let Mario fall for just a moment, then cap towards okay, the corner so that Mario keep needs to pointing left until keep Mario, left until Mario gets is in here, line with the flap. Then point straight towards the okay, corner okay. that Mario needs to land on. Let Mario fall for just a moment, then cap throw. You want to throw Cappy full Wait, spin out of the rainbow the spin yeah, to yeah, stall in the it. air when Cappy returns to Mario by pressing a jump button. The rainbow spin needs to be delayed as much as possible. Don't do it right as Cappy returns. Wait for a short moment to press the jump button. Okay. Let's try it again, see if I can get that aiming right. Oh, that is making it. Nice, nice. Okay, well, I, uh... I, I threw Cappy at the wrong time, but I moved... I threw Cappy at the moment I was supposed to start turning the analog stick slightly. So... Right timing, wrong movement. That was way too late. I was focusing way more on getting the uh, the timing for moving the control stick, though. Once we get that, we can start to tack on more of the movement. Yeah, that was way, way too low. So I guess I'm probably just throwing Cappy too late, is what it is. Like, that's gotta be why I'm falling too low, is I'm just throwing Cappy to it, right? That's the reason? Oh, let's go! Yes! Finally, we got it a third time! And there's our moon. God dang. This is such a tough jump. <laughs> Even though I said it was so easy earlier. How you like that, fishy buoy? We got you a snow dram attempt. Let's do it again, shall we? Alright, so we know we've been hitting Cappy a little too late coming out of this, that's all. So we hit it slightly earlier, we'll have more height. Nope, that was too late. <laughs> that was too late! It's still a relatively easy trick, just gotta figure out timing for everything, and then you're good. Yeah, it's all timing. I mean, if there's anything I should go back and practice, it's left side for, uh, for Cap Kingdom. So we still haven't gotten that. I think I've gotten it probably less than ten times and never once in a run. Ah, god dang it. Oh, I thought that was it, dude. I thought that was it. Hey, pro, welcome on in. What's up, buddy? How was your weekend? Having a good Monday? Have you started school as well, pro, or is it just Heiko and Revere who have started school? Oh, I didn't get the return bounce. That seemed like it was going to be a good attempt, too. We're practicing some snow dram right now, pro. You've missed me get it three times thus far, but we're still going. Ah, close, close, close. I think I came- I, everything about that attempt was really good, except I threw Cappy slightly too late the first time. That's all it was. School starts August 23rd or somewhere near there for you. Oh, so you got- you got like another week left. Nice. Enjoying your last week of summer break, I hope. You excited to go back to school? My guess is not, because who likes school? Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's go, let's go, let's abort the attempt. Let's see how many we can get before the end of the stream. Just keep that attempt number racking up. The successful attempt number, I should say. <laughs> ah, dang it. My answer is hell no, I hate school. Good answer, pro, good answer. <laughs> Although you gotta learn, though. You can hate school, but you still gotta learn. Ah, nope. <laughs> Messed up the movement. That'll happen. Watch, I'm gonna accidentally warp up there now that I have the checkpoint flag. No cheating, we gotta get Dram Strat the old fashioned way. Ah, oh, God. No! Stop it. Happy, what are you doing? That was slightly too late? Yeah. Okay, so I know that you hate school, but of the subjects you study, pro, what is your favorite? My favorites were always math and science. Love the STEM fields. Please, you teach me a class about technology? You got my full attention. Okay, so that cap throw, that first cap throw, I curved too far back left. Or right, I curved too far back right. Because I'm aiming left coming out of the roll vault. And then I just I threw Cappy way too far right. 99% of your school is useless and school can cause anxiety or something like that. School can definitely cause anxiety and stress. I do not doubt that. It is definitely a thing that happens. But it is still important to learn. Oh, I missed the freaking spin jump again. That was some weird momentum. Mario kind of got shoved off the wall there. Math and science are your favorite as well, pro. Those are mine as well. Science, the science fields are just so much fun. Oh my god, if you guys want a <laughs> funny story, so when I was in middle school, I don't even know what math I learned in sixth grade. I don't think it had a specific name, but seventh and eighth grade, I learned pre-algebra and algebra for math. And I had the same teacher seventh and eighth grade. Her name was Mrs. Zavaglia. And when I tell you this lady was weird as hell, she, okay. We're gonna pause for a moment. <laughs> She was a fairly short lady. She would kind of hobble along as she walked. And she was probably good at her job. You know, she knew math. Kind of need to know that if you're going to teach it. But she was obsessed with frogs. There were frog statues all over her classroom. There was an entire shelf in a cat. Not like just a shelf you'd hang on a wall. Like, imagine a wall unit cabinet with an entire, like, behind a glass door shelf full of frog figurines and statues and plushies and oh my god they were everywhere she was obsessed with them she i shit you not she looked like a damn frog i also hated this teacher she was way way too strict we used to do uh tests for the perfect squares so like two squared is four three squared is nine stuff like that but she wouldn't make us memorize the first 25 perfect squares, forward and backward. So if she told you two squared, you better know it's four. If she told you square root of four, you better know it's two. All the way up from one to 25. She would give us 10 questions each quiz, and you'd have to do it in pen. If you scribbled out your answer and wrote in a new answer, automatically wrong. If you missed the question, wrong. Doesn't matter. She repeat, She says the questions once, and that's it. And you had to take it in pen. It was ridiculous. There was another project we did. Um, she kind of tried to make it like, uh, not, it wasn't really a math project, it was more of like an artsy type math project where you actually had to build and decorate something. And she graded us on pizzazz. I got points taken off on this project that I did with my father. And I got points off because it didn't have enough pizzazz. Like what? How do you grade that for math? What does that even mean? When did what come up, pro? All the math talk, I guess because I asked you your favorite subjects and it reminded me of my math teacher who I was actually referencing with someone else in a conversation earlier today. Ah, I'm missing this cap return. That makes absolutely no freaking sense. Thank you, Revered. Yes, it doesn't make any sense because that lady was crazy. Not the worst teacher I've had. I've had, <laughs> trust me, I've had worse. But she was the weirdest teacher I've had. That was way too low. Look at how low we are. Yeah, that math teacher made no sense. I did not like her class. That was 
I forget what year, but that was also the class where I first started wearing glasses because I realized, hey, I can't read the blackboard. It's kind of blurry. Ah, I keep hitting the B button too late. I'm trying not to spam the B button because you don't want to do the rainbow jump as soon as possible. You want to delay it slightly. But I'm delaying it too much and I'm not getting it. <laughs> I don't think I told you all this, but I got into an engineering thing. What engineering thing did you get into, Pro? Like an engineering club, or you're in a class for it, or you're doing something outside of school? What you doing? Oh, too low, too low. I could feel myself losing some stamina there at the end of that, that attempt. I got to take a class freshman year of college. So the thing they do at Rutgers when you're a freshman is they have these seminars and you can only take them as a freshman and yeah, they're for the whole, the whole semester. So I took two different seminars. I took one first semester on rhythm, drumming, and body percussion, which was a lot of fun. It was a very silly class, but we actually did learn about rhythm in there. And we got free tickets to go see Stomp in New York, which was freaking awesome. They paid for our train tickets, for our actual performance tickets to go see them. Oh, amazing. And then my other seminar I took was paper-based electronics, which was really, really interesting. I got my first intro to what an Arduino is, which I had never seen before. I had, I've owned a Raspberry Pi. I actually have two of them now. Um, but I never played with an Arduino, so that was really cool. We actually got to, like, laser cut some... Uh, I forget what the paper was made out of, but it, it was a paper that could uh, carry an electrical signal so that when your finger finishes a circuit, it'll trigger something. It was really cool. But the coolest thing was, after the class ended, I got to keep the whole Arduino kit. No one else in my group wanted it, so I took it. It's literally sitting in my room right now. <laughs> kind of hard to uh, explain the engineering thing we got into. Well, give it a shot, Pro. I'm interested to hear what you're doing. Shouldn't have changed the camera angle. This was really bad. I couldn't tell where I was going. You would love to learn electronics. Gerbil, welcome on in. Fancy meeting you here. Ahoy, matey. How you doing, Gerbil? How's your weekend been? That's not a roll ball. What the heck? How did I not get a roll ball? Not bad considering it's Tuesday. I said, how has it been? Not how is it? I know it's a day past for you, but we're still on Monday over here. You're ahead of us, you time traveler. <laughs> Did you know that teachers are liars? In what way, pro? I don't think all teachers are liars. That's not making it. I did not have enough distance. I had the height, not the distance. So why didn't I have the distance? Maybe I didn't dive at the right point after throwing Cappy. Maybe I have to get that dive a little better. I don't know. I know Mario's supposed to do a full turnaround mid-air before you dive, and I have not been paying attention to that. So maybe we should pay a little more attention to that. Oh, close, close. Thought I had the height and the distance there. So what did you do this weekend? You have a Raspberry Pi, but a local electronic electronic shop has a lot of Arduino stuff. I feel like Arduino is a more easily accessible one. Raspberry Pi, I feel like, is... There's more capability with a Raspberry Pi, but it's more uh, higher level, I guess. It's not as easy to use as an Arduino. Arduino, it's got its own code base to work with, or its own program that you can code in specifically for the Arduino. Raspberry Pi, you're a little more on your own with it, because it's more freeform. It's more of a, yeah, Raspberry Pi is more of a commercial product. You're right, you're right. God dang it, that was not a roll vault. I've definitely used them in the past. Um, I haven't used my Raspberry Pi for too much. I used it for all the tutorial stuff when I first got it. Uh, oh, I was like, why can I not find the pla place to line up on? I was looking at the wrong part of the Odyssey. Um, I, I got a tutorial book for my Raspberry Pi when I originally got it. So I went through some of those things like turn on a light, make a light blink, or it came with a, a light sensor. So if I put my finger over the sensor, the light would turn off. But if I took my finger off the sensor and it could see the light coming from the room I was in, it would turn the light on, which that was pretty cool. There's definitely some applications you can use for that. Um, but I never did too much with it. There, You know, I definitely want to do something cool with it in my house and maybe make something smart, you know? But the only thing is, one, I have the motivation, but two, 
I don't have the ideas. I don't know what I want to make, you know? If I had an idea, I could troubleshoot my way into getting that to work. But if I don't have an idea, I've got nowhere to start. But yeah, I've got two Raspberry Pis and an Arduino. So I can do a bunch of stuff. I just don't know what. It's basically an ARM computer or an ARM computer that you can use to replace computers and things. Wait, what? Oh, 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 you're talking about the Raspberry Pi. Gotcha, gotcha. 90% of Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi projects I've seen are people putting a Pi into a retro computer case. Oh, yeah, I've seen stuff like that where they'll use a Raspberry Pi to, like, make an arcade game and they'll put it in an actual arcade case. I've seen that. That's pretty unique. Uh, I'd want to do something more practical. I mean, we already have a system that can control the temperature. We have some automated lights in my house. So I don't know what I would make, but I want to make something, you know? So, Pro, you're saying teachers usually say that gum is a distraction, but it can increase people focusing, and apparently I don't think this is true, but if you're studying and you're chewing gum, if you chew the same flavor or something, then you'll remember the answers and stuff like that. Okay, so I know what you're saying, Pro. Uh, two parts to that. One, I don't know if the teachers are necessarily, necessarily lying, but I think there are some who see it as a distraction to others and to themselves while they're teaching. I get what you're saying, that it's not a distraction to the person chewing and can actually help them focus, because it's one of those things that you can just fidget without thinking about it. Your jaw just chews. Or like, um, I don't know where my fidget cube is, but I have my Rubik's Cubes here. It's just something to my hands to fidget with, you know? It's the same premise. Uh, so I do agree with you there. And then, you are right about remembering stuff. It's the scent. Or something you're listening to. If you listen to the same thing while you're taking the test, or if you smell the same scent, like if you're chewing gum, you'll remember what you were doing or what was associated with that scent. That is something your brain actually does. And I'm sure Gerbil could speak more to that than I could, because he's a smarty pants. Whoa, that was weird. I hit the ground pound button, but he just decided to jump to the left. What the frick? Can you jump, dude? Oh, I think if I dove straight, I would have made that. Dang it. For simpler custom computing needs, Arduino looks cool. Yeah, yeah. Arduino is way easier to use. Lower level, but more uh, more handy for small projects and stuff like that. I've seen the Hacksmith on YouTube use Arduinos and Raspberry Pis for multiple projects. So they have really good uses. You know, there, there are a lot of use cases for those things. For, for both products. It just depends on what kind of project you're going for and how much processing power you might need. Ah. I wonder if I still have any of the electronic paper in the bin with my Raspberry Pi. Ah, I kept curving left. I gotta curve more right. Or else I'm not gonna make it. It warms my heart to hear you watch Hacksmith Industries. I love their work. Revered, I've definitely applied to work at Hacksmith Industries before as uh, I don't have enough skills in any of the areas they work with to be an engineer. Like, I, I would ideally love to do some computer science work for them, but the people they have on staff doing computer science work also have experience in many other fields that they work in and are more advanced in computer science than I am. So I applied as a uh, video editor, actually, because I, I do know how to video edit, even though I don't edit my own stream. <laughs> ah, why am I spinning? That's not what I do here. Uh, but yeah, I've definitely applied to work at Hatsmith Industries before. I love their work, and it's so unique and innovative and smart. Did you guys see, Revere, did you see the new, the, the Hacklorian finale that they put out? It was literally a short film, which is not anything I expected from Hacksmith, but I loved the effort they went to and the, uh, the production value they put into it. It was great. Great way to send off the series, and I'd love to see more of that in the future. Dribble, you originally wanted to use your Pi to convert a standard compound microscope into a smart microscope. See, that sounds like a really cool project. I don't know how any of that would work, but it sounds cool. That's not enough height. That's not nearly enough height. You did see it, Revered? What were your thoughts on that? You already know my thoughts. I told, I told you what I thought of the Hacklorian finale. Guys, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the Hacksmith 
is a Canadian channel on YouTube. They're technically a media company, but all their videos are engineering projects. They have this series called Make It Real, which they'll take things from comic books, video games, movies, anything you can imagine, and they'll try and make a real working prototype of it. So they've got tons of different Iron Man parts. They've got an Iron Man gauntlet with a plasma cutter that actually pokes itself out of the gauntlet. Like it can retract and extend out of the gauntlet. So cool. They've done Iron Man helmets before. They've done uh, Thor's axe, the Stormbreaker. They've also done various implementations of the hammer, Mjolnir. Uh, what else? They've done countless cap shields. Um, they also do some like one day builds where they made like the world's brightest flashlight or uh, they attached a freaking jet engine to a surfboard. <laughs> or uh, they, they actually made a hoverboard at one point using magnets, which is really, really cool. <laughs> the, it was actually really funny to watch the test video because uh, the first video they made for it, it kind of, it didn't blow up, but it like metaphorically blew up in their face in that it didn't work and they had no idea why. Uh, so it was cool to see them fix that issue in the second video. But they did make an actual, uh, an actual hoverboard. It was really good. You loved it. The flashlight was crazy. Yeah, that flashlight was ridiculously bright. I felt a little cheated with the, uh, what was it? The repulsor shield they made. The uh, Iron Man Repulsor Captain America shield. It felt a little little cheap to me because it, no. I, didn't, I get that they were using as strong of a light as they could, but it didn't feel like a real hacksmith project. I don't know. To be able to automatically move the stage, adjust the light, brightness, aperture, and condenser, and uh, so you could scan tissue slides. Interesting. So that's the difference between what a, uh, a smart microscope would do uh, compared to your, what did you say, compound microscope? Where's that message? Yeah, standard compound microscope. So is the stage what the slide is sitting on? Is that what the stage is? I'm not familiar. I'm not as familiar anymore with the specific parts of a microscope. I was more familiar back in high school. God dang it. Not making it. Oh, I'm coming out of things too late now and I'm not getting enough height. Yep, use knobs to move it around the slide. Okay, that makes sense. More precise movement with the knobs instead of grubby fingers trying to move it. Your favorite project from Hacksmith so far is their latest attempt at a real lightsaber. Okay. So, the Proto Saber lightsaber, whatever you want to call it, that invention is so freaking cool, and they actually sell mini versions of that lightsaber on their website. It's sold out right now. I kind of want to get one, because it's just, it's just a blowtorch, you know? But it's so cool, using laminar flow with flame? I never thought of that. You know, I've seen laminar flow with water, especially if you guys watch Mark Rober. There was that one huge elephant foot, not elephant foot, ele elephant toothpaste explosion that he did um, with laminar flow, and it, it was so cool. So cool. Elephant's foot, by the way, is the gross radioactive shit in Chernobyl. <laughs> 4K degree heat, and it cut through an unbreakable box. He also waved his hand straight through the 4,000 degree lightsaber. Because, you know, who needs a hand? Okay. Right height, not enough distance. The El Cheapo microscopes have those metal clips that just hold the slide in one position. But a 2000, oh my god, 2000x magnification. You can't exactly move the slide around with your fingers. No, if you move it around with your fingers, you're going to completely lose the position you were in. And you're never going to find that shit again. Jesus. I have never used a microscope. Ah, I missed the return jump. I've never used a microscope to that degree of zoom. Jesus. How many degrees of zoom do you need to look at stuff on a molecular level? You know that, Gerbil, off the top of your head? That's not high enough. Molecular level. Like, if you could see the, the atoms. I guess maybe not the atoms. That, that's extremely small. But... How, how far in can we fe feasibly look as humans at this current point in time? Because I know there was recently images of actual atoms, I think? Not... They, they kind of looked like that image of the black hole. They were like just little red dots, but it was still... It was something, you know? 
Looks like you're not getting a sharp enough vector. Oh, could that be it? Okay. I mean, I can try vectoring longer. Oh, okay, that was my fault. I released Y. I mean, I held that longer, but I was way too low that time. If I'm... Is the vector not strong enough because I'm not hitting Cappy straight enough? Because I'm, I'm holding straight left like the video does when I start my roll. So maybe I can hold slightly less to the left? Let's see if that works. No, that was way worse. <laughs> that was significantly worse. Well, the videos say you should be holding left till the camera recenters you. Yeah, so I'm trying to come out of it at around the point the camera recenters, or when I see uh, when I see Mario kind of overlap with the ledge. Scanning electron microscopy is the finest detail I've seen. You can see the surface texture of cells. That is amazing. That's really cool, Turbo. That was not even a roll ball. Excuse me, Mario. So, I can do a spin pound in one place if I can buffer it. If I can't buffer the spin pound, I cannot do it in one place. Okay, well, helps if you roll. I felt like that didn't even get enough height. I felt like I didn't get any height out of that roll vault that time. Weird, weird, weird. We're getting better. We've got it, what, four attempts under our belt now? Oh, <laughs> it was so close. It was so close. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. Ah, come on, Mario, you gotta roll. Why? Why don't you do the return jump, dude? I'm pressing the button. I'm trying not to spam it, but I'm pressing it. Ah, oh, hate when that happens. This jump is so satisfying because he like just barely makes it up. No, I'm not in the right spot. Ah, dang it. Maybe I should just spam the B button for right now, because I am I'm not getting this rainbow jump. Dang it, dang it. So close, dude, so close. Basically, how much we can magnify is limited by the fact that the subject needs to be detected using something with a wavelength much smaller than whatever detail we want to see. Wait, it has to be detected using a, something with a, a smaller wavelength. How does that work? So, you got me a little confused there, Gerbil. But I don't know exactly how to describe what I'm confused about. Maybe could you explain it on... Uh, higher terms? Oh, no! Like, not as microscopic of a level. I don't know. I don't know if that was phrased right. I don't know what I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I'm right there, dude. I'm right there. The cool thing about that frame one pause, right as you hit the ground, is if you're about to die in like slime or something, or lava, you can pause it the first frame that you're gonna hit the ground and you can still warp away and save yourself. That was not fast enough. What the heck? Yeah, I bounced right off the top. Fight. 
Go! Oh, I had the hype, but not the distance. It's always one or the other. It's always one or the other. Never both. Ah, oh, where was my return jump? Come on. I feel like every time I'm on a good attempt, I don't get the return jump. And then there's nothing I can do. Ah, come on. Pull away from the Odyssey, Mario. There it is. Oh, I was right there, dude. It looked like my bonk landed on top of it. Dang. This trick is not liking me tonight. Watch, it's gonna be like late clip. We do one stream of it where it's like two straight hours of practice before we get it. Well, I already got it once, but it was two straight hours before we got it for late clip. And then the next stream I was like nailing it every time. If you want to use our eyes and a standard optical microscope, visible light has a wavelength of 380 to 700 nanometers. I actually knew that, because I learned that in physics too. It's really cool to learn the different wavelengths of the light. Uh, so if something is smaller than that, if something is smaller than 380 nanometers, then it cannot be discerned with visible light. So technically, wouldn't that still be hit with light, just not light visible to us? Like, not within our spectrum of vision? Am I correct in that? Too long. Yep, too low. I waited too long. Alright, alright. Thing is, I don't know the right point to hit it at. I know where it's too long now, but I'm just not hitting it at the right, right moment. No, that was too low. Too low. Yeah, that makes more sense now. I, I understand what you're saying. Can't really see an atom if there's no light that's there. There's no there's no wavelength of light on that level to be visible. Which is why I would assume there's so much processing that takes place in order to print out any image of atoms at all. Because there is an image out there. Let me let me pull it up on stream for you guys to see. It'll look a little weird because my monitor split, but uh This, this image. Let me just save the image as so I can make it full screen. Uh, come on, make it bigger. All right, check this out. Check this out. See how that looks to you guys. Yeah, so you can kind of see it. That image right there is an image of actual atoms, like. Proton, neutron, electron, that kind of shit. Which is really cool. I mean, there, there's a lot of processing that goes into an image like that. And you can see why it reminds me of that image of uh, a black hole. Because it's just that, like, kind of red outline around the event horizon. Um, but it, the fact that we even have an image like this just shows how much further we can progress as time goes on. Like, it's insane. It's insane. Insane. Oh. Uh, oh no, I already read that message. Thought I missed a message. No, wait. Chat's frozen there. Stupid Streamlabs. So a carbon atom has a radius of 0 0.09 nanometers, so it wouldn't be visible using visible the visible light spectrum to us. Where did you get that from? I want to check it out. Uh, I just found that on Google, but let me find the article it came from. I'll send it to you. Scientificamerican.com. There you go. There's the link for you in chat. Don't be fooled by Doja Mod, that is just me typing it. <laughs> ah, no, you're not spinning. Wrong strat, Mario, wrong strat. Line yourself up. Ah, I'm still missing this return jump. Hmm. 
Gerbil, I'm assuming you've already seen the uh, the black hole stuff, because that one's a little bit older than the, the pictures of the atom. Ah, I'm still missing that. God dang it. I really gotta spam it. I, I gotta hit it sooner. I'm just never gonna hit it. That works. Thank you, Cappy. Give me a little boost up. Okay, that was way too soon. So, okay, okay. Now I know how much I need to delay it. I didn't realize I could get the return jump that soon, so okay, okay. I know, I kind of know how to time it now. Just need that overcorrection to learn how to thread the needle right in the middle, right? That's all it takes, that's all it takes. Hmm. How much do they delay the dive? Let me see that. How much do they delay this dive? Uh, all of that music real quick. My god, but okay, for a brief so... second, then throw Cappy forward once again. Distance. After the rainbow spin, delay for a throw brief Cappy, second, then does throw a full Cappy spin forward and then once die. again. Okay, so let Mario do a full spin. Got it. I got it. Let's do this. We got 23 minutes to get some more snow drams. Oh, we can turn the music back on. That's not a robot. We'll get it, we'll get it. You think you can explain it? I think I can explain it to you. Did you give it your best shot, Gerald? If not, no big deal. I don't expect to understand everything about that image because it is extremely above my pay grade. I work with computers and logic, not atoms. The theoretical side of the science and math spectrum, not for me. I like more of the stuff that's already been proven and easy to understand. Oh, come on. So close, dude, so close. Revered, how, how did I get this like second try and now I can't get it anymore? Oh, God dang it. Oh god, what what does the school server's school server's meme chat turn into? You have a meme chat with your school? What the heck? I feel like that could get so out of hand. I dang it. I'm supposed to roll Mario. I came out of that too late. Yeah, enjoy your bonk. My school didn't have a, a meme chat. Rutgers had a meme chat. I never looked at it because, you know, there's thousands of people and I don't want to look at a meme chat on Facebook when I've got iFunny on my phone. Granted, a lot of the memes I posted were all based around Rutgers and shit we, we went through at Rutgers. So, like, I could relate to it, but I just didn't... Ah, dang it. Didn't like the Rutgers meme page because who wants Facebook? My friend sent a video of a mashup between Never Gonna Give You Up and the intro to an anime. By the way, the decision was made without me even knowing. The decision for a meme chat? Yeah, stuff like that was made without my, uh, my aware as well. Go! No. Okay, that was actually pretty low. We had the height. We did not have the distance. At a meme chat, yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. I knew what you meant. You know what mashup I really like that's not a meme mashup? It's like an actual good mashup. God dang it. Every time I miss this return jump. Your club president this end up happening without me knowing? Oh, oh, you mean it's a club meme chat, not a school meme chat. 
gotcha, gotcha. Oh, dang it. Ah, what am I doing wrong? Revered, critique me, what am I doing? <laughs> Basically, the fire electrons at... Oh, they fire electrons at their... Hang on, hang on. I gotta, like, read this myself so I can read it out loud properly. Okay, so basically they fire electrons at their sample at a precise rate and angle. Their fancy new detector can only detect where the electrons hit, but how often they hit and what angle they hit the detector at. Uh, they basically then use some ridiculously complex math, expected, yeah, uh, to extrapolate what the electrons must have run into on the way. Interesting, okay. So they're, they're seeing where the electrons are bouncing, because electrons, they're really moving, they're bouncing around all over the place, they do not want to sit still, and they can kind of detect things that the electrons are running into, and based on that information, are forming structures or some image that we can visibly see what it's running into. Okay. And I guess since they can't pass through, like, um, the, the other atoms, you would see it bouncing off all sides of it, and that's what gives you a full circle, because you know all the, I guess the surface area of it for the electron to bounce off. I think that's right? I don't know. So, Revered, uh, even the club sponsor, the man who runs everything above me, so the actual staff person, was okay with it, but if it's out of hand, he'll shut it down. Yeah, that's not surprising. That's, uh, that's definitely something I feel like staff should keep a close eye on, because memes are fun, but memes can definitely get out of hand. That's not me. I didn't have distance. Okay, so, I think the distance issue there is I'm hit- I'm getting the spin jump now too early. Still not a sharp enough vector. Look at the clip again and see what the vector you did versus what you're doing at the moment. Okay, yeah, let's check out the vector. Let me check that out. Thing, though. That wasn't it either. I can switch this to you guys. Come on, Chaku. It's gonna look awkward. There you go. Yeah, you guys can see Oh my god, we already got it! Okay. That's good. Go back. Yeah, I feel like the... the... What is it? The roll vault I'm getting there is so much higher, I feel like. Oh, and I also, like, dove left with that jump. That jump is still pretty far left. Okay, so let me keep going left with some of it then. Because maybe that'll help. Maybe I'm curving too far back after the roll vault. Yeah, that's not a roll vault. Can't have that, Mario. Yeah, okay, I'm too close to the Odyssey. There we go. There. Ah, oh, I didn't get the frickin' return jump. This god dang return jump screws me up every time, dude. It's a perfect example of what I said earlier. Electrons are basically small enough to bounce around in between the nucleus and the electron shell of an atom. Yes. Yeah, because they're always moving around. They get into every tight little nook and cranny. Uh, because the electric field of an electron oscillates at a way tinier wavelength than light waves, we can use electrons to discern far finer details. Interesting. Okay, so they're using the wavelength of electrons to discern the details of the nucleus atoms. Interesting. So then what if we wanted to look at electrons? What's next? Do you go to like quarks or something? The wavelength of quarks? Yeah, that was a little too far left that time. I like this this very scientific talk we're having, Gerbil. Okay. Let's get this. Let's get this. That was too far left. Oh my god. Okay, so I think the left is helping, because even though that was super far left, that was pretty close. So I think aiming further left with the cap throw is helping. And I gotta go a little straighter with it. <laughs> Falling 
Ah, uh, ah, uh, don't do that, don't do that. Okay, came out of it too late. Good attempt, but I came out of it too late. Scientific Mario Odyssey speedrunning. <laughs> you know it, you know it. Oh, I never told you what my favorite mashup was before. Um, so you were talking about a mashup of... Never gonna give you up in some anime intro, but a non meme mashup that I really like is Sugar This Is Gospel by Panic at the Disco. And, no, This Is Gospel by Panic at the Disco, and Sugar We're Going Down by Fallout? I don't remember who that's by, but the mashup is Sugar This Is Gospel. I highly suggest looking it up on YouTube. I love that mashup so much. It is a very fun one to listen to. Oh, it's so close every time. I can't tell if I'm going to make it or not because it's so close. We can't see the details of atoms as your picture shows. We get a fuzzy image of where the atoms probably are. Yeah, but that's still, that's like miles of improvement. Like, can you imagine what images of atoms are going to look like 10 years from now based on what we have right now? Like, just the, the progress is going to be great. Sugar, we're going down into Fallout. Fallout Boy song. Okay, yeah, I was right then. I love that song. I used to have a game called um, Karaoke Revolution Party. I'm pretty sure it was on my PS2. And I would play that song all the time. I loved singing it. I also would sing Take On Me, but I don't nearly have the range for that anymore. Yeah, Gerbil, it is insanely awesome. Technology is so cool. Well, that wasn't making it. Good distance, bad height. It's always one or the other. Always one or the other. Never right in the middle. <laughs> Take on me. Pops a lot. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I ain't going for that high note. In a day or two? No, no, no. Too high now. Prepubescent Mason could hit those notes. Now Mason likes to sing bass, even though he technically doesn't have the range for that either. Ah, uh, I was trying to delay that too long. Yeah, I'm more of like a ten or two baritone voice now. But I can get down there, especially if I'm like... If it's super late, I've just woken up, or I'm sick, I can get some lower notes. Oh my god, all these attempts are like right there, dude! They're right there! Yeah, that, that is one of my favorites, is Sugar This Is Gospel. Great matchup. I'd play it for you all, but it's two different copyright copyright stricken songs, so let's not do that. Oh, that... Dang it, that copy bounce got me so high, too, that would have made it if I would gotten a return jump. To me, it doesn't look like you're vectoring enough still. I feel like I'm vectoring as much as I can. I don't know what I can do more to vector is the thing. I'm holding left. And if I hold left longer, I'll just not have enough height. It's right there, dude. I want to get this at least once more before the stream ends, and we've only got 10 minutes. Not it, not it. What the frick, Mario. That's not a robo, stop doing that. Oh, I missed, <laughs> that's great. Go, please! No! I totally thought that was it, dude! I was right there! How, how am I not hitting it? Like, can we... That was so close. That one was literally so close. God, I'm so bad at getting a 
spin jump standing still. I can't spin that fast. That had the height, but not the distance. Like what? Ay ay ay. I wonder how far do I have to fall before throwing after the the rainbow jump? After the rainbow spin, delay for a brief second and hit it too early, and you. So I guess he falls slightly after the rainbow jump. So like that would have been too long of a fall if I did this. No, hang on, if I did this. Yeah, that's how you gotta do it. Okay, not like that. Let's try it, let's try it. <sighs> my right thumb is hurting a little bit. Which is odd, because my right thumb is not the one doing all the spinning. No, Mario, come on. Whoa. How did I land there? Not a roll. Oh, <laughs> come on. Okay, let's pay attention to the dive jumps, the happy dives. Make sure we're doing a complete spin around before I do the dive. Complete spin around midair and then dive. That's what we're focusing on. But we focus on actually getting the roll, Mario. Oh, every time I miss the cap, you return! Come on! It's like either I spam it and I'm gonna get it way too early or I just miss it altogether. Oh! So close. What am I doing wrong? We should get someone from the uh, Odyssey Discord to come in and help. Maybe next stream we'll do some more dram, snow dram practice. Get someone from the Odyssey Discord to come help. Nope, way too late there. That was my fault. I wonder how many times we've actually warped back up to the Odyssey. Hopefully they won't just deny you. I mean, they probably will. That's what they did last time. But if we can get, like, just one nice soul to come in and be like, Hey, you're doing this wrong. You should do this. That would be very helpful. I also might be, co I might be coming out of the vector too early. I don't know. I do not know. Oh, come on. Just get the rainbow jump, dude. Seriously, doesn't look sharp enough. I Listen, dude, I don't know what to tell you. I'm holding left. Okay, I held even more left there, and I just didn't get it. Oh, come on! Stupid return jump, dude. Here we go, here we go. That's way too far. Way too far.
Dang. Anyhow, I gotta go grab some things at the supermarket without angering the lockdown gods. Oh god, are you still in lockdown? I'm sorry, gerbil. This is never gonna end, dude. But hey, lockdown gives you more time to stream, am I right? Nah, you go do your things, dude. Good to see you. Hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday day. It is, uh, I guess it's... Uh, is it after? No, it's the morning for you. A rest, great rest of your Tuesday. You got all got the whole day ahead of you. <laughs> well, uh, we'll hopefully see you Wednesday for Luigi's Mansion. We'll see, we'll see. But until then, have a great night, gerbil. Dude, every time I hit the jump button, I just don't get the return jump. Come on. So much for consistency. The lockdown gods. Yep, that would be the government. See, that attempt felt so much worse to me, but it looked closer. So, like, I'm, where's the where's the image mean here? Your area is under stay-at-home order since Saturday. We can't leave the house for a few reasons. Oh, you can leave the house for a few reasons. Like shopping, medical appointments, or solo outdoor exercise. I mean, that's nice. I still see people that will go on walks by themselves in my neighborhood and wear masks. And that, that's a bit much. You're by yourself. You don't need a mask. Not a roll vault. Alright, we got a few more minutes of attempts. I would love to get it once more, but don't know if that's going to be feasible. That's not making it. Too low. I tried vectoring a little bit shorter that time. Not the angle, just the length of time. Attack the server and see if we can get some help. It's not worth it at this point, Revere, since I'm going to be ending stream soon. But, uh, I, I did post in their advertise your stream thing. I always post on Mondays in the Odyssey Discord. Uh, and we've had one or two people notice it in the past, but not many. I mean, I post in a bunch of different Discords when I go live, but not many people notice that. And I don't expect people to. You know, it's a very niche thing that I'm posting in. God dang it. Mario, would you stop eating my diving foot, please? You don't have the Delta here, but it's in a bunch of other areas in your state? Well, I won't get into the Delta, but I'm glad, I'm glad you're personally doing okay, Turbo. But go do your shopping, I don't want to hold you up anymore. Okay, well I got the return jump and then Cappy just didn't come out. Wouldn't have mattered, because my return jump was too soon anyway. The government put the rest of the state in low-level lockdown for a week. The state capital has military helping enforce lockdown. That's scary. I would not want my military enforcing lockdowns. How in the world do people do this so consistently? I don't get it. And my angle is just like completely off. Alright. Let's do this one more time. We're gonna give it one more really good attempt. And that's gonna be it for the stream. I know it was a slightly shorter stream today. And uh, next stream it will not be. Hopefully I will not have a case of the Mondays next week. And we can get a full stream of Mario going. Next week, we're probably going to do like an hour of Snow Dram again. Maybe we'll see if we can get someone from the Odyssey Discord to come in and help us. And then we'll move on to learning all of Snow Kingdom. Because there actually are other things we need to learn here. It's rampant in Sydney and the surrounding area, but I live out in the countryside. Well, lucky you. You're hopefully not surrounded by too many people, so you got some privacy there. Oh! <laughs> so close. Yeah, that's nice that you're kind of away from it, Gerbil. I haven't looked at numbers since last year, because one, I'm vaccinated, and two, I just frankly don't care anymore. I barely go out of my house as it is, and that's not because of lockdown, it's just because I'm a very antisocial introvert. But, uh, 
Yeah, so I just, I haven't really cared about the numbers anymore. Okay, last attempt. Oh, so close. So close. You know what? Here, check this out, guys. Look. Ready? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Look, I'm doing the movement. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And we made it, guys. We got, we got Snowdram. Let's get the moon. Let's actually, let's not get the moon. Let's make a save state. Let's, I, I didn't save it all this stream, and we definitely want some saves for next time. Cool. All right. We have at least one save that we can start on next time. Look, guys. I did Snowdram. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez! All right, well we got it four times this stream. Somehow we got it second try, and then like almost never again. But pretty dang cool. I'm slightly happy with the day. I wish we could have gotten it a couple more times, but I'm happy with the amount we did get it. Nice little roll cancel there for you. Instant roll cancel. Rolls eyes. Hey, come on! I had to get the moon somehow. We've already been up there four times today, so I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> A few rural, rural towns have had cases, but they've all been traced back to people who left Sydney during its lockdown. Well, there you go, it's the people who don't listen. They never learn. Well, hopefully you're staying safe. You go get your, your grocery shopping done, gerbil. I am gonna go off and eat dinner. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this stream, getting some more Mario action in there. We're gonna be back Wednesday with Luigi's Mansion. We are nearing the end of this game, there's gonna be Probably one or two more streams for story, and then maybe one extra stream just to finish off all the achievements for the game. And then Friday, obviously we're doing Fall Guys. You know what we do Friday. If you missed it last week, we did get our thousandth win in Fall Guys. If you want to check it out, there is a clip on Twitter that I would love you guys to check out. Like and retweet. Do all that fancy jazz. It was a uh, pretty epic win, if I do say it myself. Also, there was like confetti going everywhere. And Mia, the boxer, our new pup, came into the stream for a quick sec at the end of the clip. But yeah, go check it out, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Tuesday, uh, uh, Gerbil, I hope you have a great rest of your day, since it is Tuesday for you over in Australia. And I will see you guys next time.